Hey learners, Pranshi Verma this side. Welcome to my channel guys. In today's YouTube session, we are going to learn Parallel and Distributed Computing Unit 5 Multiple Choice Question and Answer. Okay, let's begin. First question is, where is the linear searching used? Option A. When performing a single search in an on unordered list. Option B. When the list has only a few elements and when performing a single search in an unordered list. Option C. When the list has only a few elements. Option D. Used all time. Right answer is option B. When the list has only a few elements and when performing a single search in an unordered list. Okay. So this is where linear searching is used. Next question. Is there any differences in the speed of execution between linear search recursive versus linear search iterative? Option A. Both execute at same speed. Option B. Linear search iterative is faster. Option C. Linear search recursive is faster. And option D is can't say. Right answer is option B. Linear search iterative is faster. Okay. Next question. Linear search recursive algorithm used in option A. When the size of the data set is low. Option B. When the size of the data set is large. Option C. When the data set is unordered. Option D. None of these. Right answer is option A. When the size of the data set is low. Okay. Next question. What is the recurrence relation for the linear search recursive algorithm? Option A. T of n minus 2 plus c. Option B. 2t of, my, of n minus 1 plus c. Option C. T n minus 1 plus c. Option D. T n plus 1 plus c. And right answer is option C. Okay, so T n minus 1 plus C is the recurrence relation for the linear search recursive algorithm. Okay, next question. The main advantages of DFS is option A. A storage requirement is linear in the depth of a state a space. Option B. A storage requirement is parallel in the depth of a state a space. Option C. None of these. Right answer is option A. A storage requirement is linear in the depth of a state is based. Okay. Next question. Blank space of the parallel system is defined as the ratio of the work done by the formulation to that done by the sequential formulation. Option A. Search overhead factor. Option B. Search overwork factor. Option C. Sharding overhead factor. Option D, none of these. Right answer is option A. Search overhead factor of the parallel system is defined as the ratio of the work done by the parallel formulation to that done by the sequential formulation. Okay. Next question. When a processor runs out of work, it gets more work from another processor that has work is called. Option A, dynamic load balancing. Option B, a static load balancing. Option C, both A and B. Option D, none of these. Right answer is option A, dynamic load balancing. Okay, next question. ARR stands for option A, asynchronous round robin. Option B, asynchronous robin round. Option C, asynchronous round random. Option D, asynchronous random round. Right answer is option A, asynchronous round robin. Okay, and it's very important question. Next question. The system maintains a globally counter and requests are made in a round robin fashion globally called option A, global round, global robin round, GRR. Option B, global round random. Option C, global round robin. And option C, global random round. Right answer is DRR means global round robin. Okay. Next question. Statements quick shot follows divide and conquer strategy. Is true or false? Is true. Okay. Next question. Strategy is for parallel best first research. Option A. Random communication strategy. 
ऑप्शन बी रिंग कम्युनिकेशन ऑप्शन सी ब्लैक बोर्ड कम्युनिकेशन ऑप्शन डी आल ऑफ दीज राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी आल ऑफ दीज ओके सो स्ट्रैटेजी इज फॉर पैरल बेस्ट फर्स्ट रिसर्च और रेंडम कम्युनिकेशन स्ट्रैटेजी एंड रिंग कम्युनिकेशन एंड ब्लैक बोर्ड कम्युनिकेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एक्सिक्यूशन एल्डिंग स्पीड ऑफ ग्रेटर देन पी बाय यूजिंग पी प्रोसेसर आर रिफर्स टू एज ब्लैंक स्पेस अनोमलीज स्पीड ऑफ ऑफ लेस देन पी यूजिंग पी प्रोसेसर आर कॉल्ड ब्लैंक स्पेस अनोमलीज ऑप्शन ए एक्सेलरेशन एंड डी एक्सेलरेशन रेस्पेक्टिवली and option b deacceleration and acceleration respectively and here right answer is option a acceleration and deacceleration respectively now let's see execution yielding speed of greater than p by using p processors are referred to as acceleration and acceleration anomalies speed of of less than p using p processors are called deacceleration anomalies okay Now let's wind up this lecture guys see you in the next video thanks for watching this video wish you a very very all the best for your examination bye bye